I guess in this video I am going to discuss about how to convert 2D array into 1D array in Seesaw. So I am going to convert 2 dimension array into 1 dimension. So I have this code that I already written to save some time. Now hereafter let's uh, see the output first. So let's click on execute. So I the program is running. Now here this is the .NET exe. So add here enter command for rows, enter number for rows and columns. So I am going to give add here two rows and here two columns. So you can give anyone. So if you give add here two, so we need to enter add here total four numbers. So add here two and eight, then after 76 and 45. So add here first add here 2 dimension array so 0 index 0 0 index that is stored to add here 0 1 8 and here after 1 1 45 and here 0 1 to add and here 8 and here 76 and 45 so add here 0 0 so this is add here 2 dimension array and after doing calculation so here it's now in convert into one dimension array. So add your two rows and two columns. So this code that I uh, paste add here this part. Now here after let's understand the dry run method of this program. So if you execute the code or run the code, so first control comes to main method. Here after that go inside. So add here I have taken a uh, total. 5 integer type of variable. So first is add here n1 and here next add here n2 and here after next is ij. So let's give add here this is i add here now here after this is j and here after giving at this point and here the k value in is slash to 0 now here after that I take an integer tag or single dimension array add here str1 so this is add here str1 and here next is str so str1 and here str2 so and here I have given 12 and here 12 12 so rows and columns 12 12 so you can give anyone whatever you like so if you give at here 12 then you can store 12 elements and here 12 rows and 12 columns now here after console dot right line so this Explain to the output screen and here whatever I enter so that receive by n1. So suppose if I give add here n1 value 2 and here giving n2 value 2. So since uh, add here I have taken 2 to value because uh, add here 2 is so when I give add here 2 so only we need to enter total elements in 2D4. So you can give add here 3, 4, whatever you like you can give. So you should check with 4 and 5, 4 rows and 5 columns. Now here after console dot right line. So this is going to the output scheme and here after i value that is start from 0. 0 and here that check. So n1 value add here 2. Now here 0 less than 2. So this condition is true. So that go inside. Here j value 0 and n2 value 2. So this value is 2 now. So 0 less than 2 condition is true. So that go inside. So add here str2. 0 0. So we need to enter some console dot rate line. So we need to enter some values. So add here the first part add here 2 dimension array. So let's make add here 1 2d. So here 
So at here this point 0 0 index and here here after that increase by 1 so 0 1 and here this is 1 0 index and here 1 1 now here after str 2 of 0 0 I am going to enter the value 9 now here after that go up increase the value of j so j value first that start from 0 now here after that increase so at here 1 less than 2 condition is true so that coincides so str 2 i value is now 0 0 and j value is 1 so 0 and 1 position and going to enter the value 11 now here after j gonna increase so j is 2 now and here n2 value that i given 2 so 2 less than 2 so this condition is false so if this condition is false so this will not go this part and here after that go up and continue the upper folder now at here i gonna increase so i is 1 and here n2 value at here n1 value at here 2 so 1 less than 2 this condition is again true so that coincides so at here j value is now a start with 0 again and here n2 value is now again that become at here 2 so here after str 2 so at here 2 and here i value is now at here 1 and j value is 0 so 1 0 position we need to enter some value so 1 0 let's give at here 13 now here after that go increase the value of j so j is now 1 and here check 1 less than 2 condition is true so that coincides so at here str 2 so at here i value is now 1 and j value is also 1 so 1 1 position we need to enter some value so let's give at here 6 now here after that go up and increase the value of j so j is 2 now and here 2 less than 2 condition is false so if this condition is false so this will not go this part and here after that go up and increase the value of i so i value is not 2 2 less than 2 condition is false so if the condition is false so this not go inside here after that out from folder now here after control comes to this one console dot right line and here two dimension array so this will display into the output screen and here for i equal to 0 so i value is now 0 n more value at here 2 so at here 0 less than 2 condition is true so that coincide so at here j value is now that is start from at here 0 and here n2 value also true so at here since this time I am using console dot right. So right line is used to print the value into the output screen. So at here this here I have used three placeholder. So this placeholder for i and here this placeholder that used for j and this placeholder that I use for this one. str2 i and j. Now here j value is now 0, 0 less than 2, condition is 2, so that coincide. Console dot right line. So i value is now at here. i value. So here i value is now this time 0 and j value also 0. So 0 and 0 position. Okay. So here str 2, 0 and 0 position, what the value is 9. So at here this time 9. Display. Now here after that go up increase the value of j. So j is now 1. 1 less than 2 condition is 2. So at here i value is now 0 and here 1. And here 0 1 position 11 is there. So next time that 11 display. So since I have given at here right line. So it will display output on new line. Now here after j value is now 2. So 2 less than 2 condition false, so this will not go inside. And here after that, go up 
at this point and here i value increase so i is not 1 1 less than 2 condition is 2 that coincident j value is not 0 0 less than 2 condition is 2 so at here i value is now 1 and here j value is now 0 so 1 0 and str 1 0 so str 1 0 the value is 13 so 13 that display here after that increase the value of at here j so j is now 1 so j value is now 1 at here and here take 1 less than 2 condition is true so that coincides so at here 1 1 as to 2 1 1 2 1 1 6 is there so 6 that display now here after here j value is now 2 2 less than 2 condition false here go 2 less than 2 condition false so if the condition is false so this will not go inside here control comes to this point now here this is point about one dimension array so this will display to the output screen and here for i value is now again that is start from 0 and here 0 less than n1 value at here 2 here after that go inside so at here j value is now 0 and here 0 less than 2 condition is true so that go inside so at here str2 i value and j value 0 0 so str2 0 0 position 9 is there so 9 and here k value are taken so first at here k value is now 0 so let's take at here 1d now here after so let's make the indexing so this is the 0 index here 1 here 2 here 3 so at here str 1 and here i value is now 0 so 0 position the str 2 0 0 position 9 is there so 9 go to at here str 1 of 0 so 9 comes now here after post increment so that increase the value of k so k is now 1 now here after that to go up and increase the value of j so j is now 1 1 less than 2 condition is true so that coincide here after str2 and here 0 1 so 0 1 position at here 11 so 11 and your k value is now at this point 1 so str 1 of 1 so 1 of 1 at here str 1 k value is now 1 so 1 position at here that is stored at here 11 now here after post increment so that increase the value of k so k is now 2 now here after that go up increase the value of j so j is 2 now check the condition 2 less than 2 condition is not true so that not be inside now here after that go up increase the value of i i1 and your 1 less than 2 condition is true so that go inside and your j value is now 0 and your 0 less than 2 condition is true so that coincides so at your str 2 i value is now 1 and j value is 0 so 1 0 position is 13 is there so 13 go to str 1 of and your k value is 2 so 2 position that is store 13 so at your 13 come now here after that go up increase the value of j so j is now at your 1 so at here 1 less than 2 condition is true so at here str2 1 more position so 1 more position at here so 6 is there so 6 that go to str 1 of 2 so 2 position at here sorry str1 k value is now at here so at here that I forget one thing so when that print the value of k after that that increase so str 1 of 3 position so 3 position at here of uh, that store str 2 1 1 so 1 1 position is 6 so 6 moves to str 3 so this value is now at here that come 3 index 6 now here after that go up increase the value of j so j is 2 now 2 less than 2 condition is false so that not coincide here after i value increase so i is 2 now 
erupter to less than to condition is false. With the condition is false, it control comes to this point. Here I value is now 0 and here n1 and n2. So this is now become 4. So and here console dot right. So this placeholder is for i and here this placeholder is for str1. So and here i value is now 0 position and here str1 of 0 position 9 is here. So 9 display here after i can increase so i is 1. 1 less than 4 condition is true. So at here 1 and here str 1 of 1. 11 is there, 11 print. Here after i increase, so i is now 2. So at here 2 less than 4 condition is true. So at here 2 str, i value is now 2, str 1 of 2. So 1 of 2 position at here 13. So 13 display. Now here after i increase, so i is 3 now. So at here 3 less than 4 condition is true. So at here i value is 3. str 1 of 3. 6 is there. So 6 is there. So at here 0, 1, 2, 3. And here this value is now displayed. So that is store at here in 2D this values. And after doing some calculation, some operation at here, this array, 2D array is now converted into 1D. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.